Oh no, is it closed? Hi everybody, David Becky again. Still in the Tombstone, Arizona area. Today we're going to do the Millville Petroglyph, Petroglyph and Discovery That's area it, yeah. along the San Pedro Trail. Nice day, a little bit of breeze. Oh. It's very warm, it's beautiful. So October in Arizona. That's yeah. the time to be here. Very beautiful. Yeah. Here we right. go. Here we go. But there's water in this sometimes too. That was the only negative I saw, and this is probably where they said finding it when you cross the stream bed was a little hard. Might not want to do this during the monsoon season. Got some shoes that you don't mind getting wet. I think this is where the loop starts. You can go either direction you want to go. Hmm? Go to left. Come out and sleep with the rattlesnakes. You come out here and camp. See a little camp spot right there. Found the practicalists. Oh yeah, we'll loop back to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going just took a rock all of a sudden. That's the same stuff like goes back there. Yeah, that stuff's heavy. Oh no, is it closed? Uh-oh. Trail's closed.
Ja. Yeah. This is the end of the trail. Like in the one the other day, you can see the bolts yeah. on the top. Grasshoppers. <laughs> so we go this way just a little bit and then we come back and go that way. I think Gerd was the guy that um, Shifflin brothers were in, were out partners with. We are approaching Gerd House. Ed Shifflin was the first to mine silver in Tombstone. He actually named the town. Ed was in partners with his brother Al and Richard Gerd. This was Richard's home. It overlooked the San Pedro River and was part of Millville, also known as Gerd. The town of Charleston was across the river and housed most of the mill workers. Millville Mills stamped silver ore into a powder to get it ready for smelting. The mills were built here along the San Pedro River rather than in Tombstone due to the lack of water necessary for processing in Tombstone. That's where we were before. Yeah, this was just a short piece. There's just a little bit more up here. Actually, no, we're beyond the end of the trail. One point nine miles in a little over an hour. Loved it. Would do it again. Probably gonna come back and do another branch trail that's not actually been recorded on all trails. The trail's shown on the map, but there's no record of it on all trails. So that should be fun. That'll be later in the week. And as always, let's keep rolling. <laughs>